Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's the little thing on the row? Oh, we should stop and go have a look. Hello, guys. Today is a beautiful, bright, sunny day, and Mom found an echidna beside the road on the way to the mountains. Hmm, what's this little guy doing? Echidnas are somewhat like porcupines, but it's different. Here's why. They're only found in Australia, Tasmania, and Papua New Guinea. Have you ever found out that the spines on the echidnas are actually modified hairs? They have two centimeter spikes on their back and are fitted with fur for insulation. Ooh. Ooh, he's going into the forest now. Let's go follow him. And also, echidnas have the lowest body temperature of any mammal. That's why they can live up to 45 years in the wild. Awesome! Echidnas are one of the few egg laying mammals, like platypuses, etc. The female lays one soft shelled egg and keeps it in their pouch. When their egg hatches, the baby is said to be smaller than a jelly bean. Wow, that's minuscule! Ooh, echidnas don't have nipples. Um, like all mammals, echidnas feed their young with milk, but without nipples. Instead, female echidnas have special glands in their pouches called milk pouches that secret milk. And just to take note, they have pouches. Like the platypus, the echidna has an electroreceptive system. While the platypus has 40,000 electroreceptors on its bill, echidnas only have 400 to 2,000 electroreceptors on their snouts. Which is, of course, less effective, but echidnas don't close their eyes while, while hunting, right? And they hunt on land, so of course they don't need that much electroreceptors. And mainly the electroreceptors are for water, so. Oh, and did you know, echidnas are toothless, so they make up for it by having a long and sticky tongue that catches ants and termites. Since they have no teeth, echidnas break down their food with hard pads located on the roof of the mouth and the back of the tongue. Hmm, looks like it's feasting on some ants, hmm? Oh yeah, you can see their tongue right there, it's very long like a snake. <laughs> That's their egg in the pouch. It's basically like a ping pong sized egg. Hmm, beautiful marsh. Echidnas are half aquatic, which means they can swim in water. Hmm, looks like this little guy is taking a swim in the water. They can't hold their breath for long, so they have to keep swapping air every three to five seconds or so. And lastly, the echidna flea is thought to be the world's largest flea at four millimeters long. Yeah, it's pretty small, but it's the world's largest flea, so what can you say? Aw, I won't forget the little furball that we met on the road. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and also share this with your close friends. Well, I'm Wei, the commentator, and I'll see you in the next video.